Hello again, I am Blunty, and as you may have learned in one of my previous recent videos, GTC, the GPU Technology Conference put on by NVIDIA, who were kind enough to send me up to Silicon Valley to check out, uh, well, mostly, a lot of it, tons of it, on the show floor especially, VR, everywhere, and I told you all about that in that video. Now, there is another side of VR, you know, you've got the computer games and the medical imagery and all that really cool stuff, but... The other side of it is real-world VR applications. Basically what I'm talking about is taking your VR goggles, your Vive, your Rift, your Google Cardboard, your whatever, and using it to be in virtual environments that are recorded in the real world, either still photographs or indeed video. And there have been many solutions to attempt to capture virtual reality live video feeds that you can then look around in goggles and look around and you know you've got these little rigs with gopros stuck all over them and little cages and everything and then you have to use computers to stitch all that stuff together and it's very very complicated and it's getting easier there's some automated tools around there but it still requires huge investments in you know you've got like, what, four or five six gopros and all and things like that and there are specialized cameras to, that are coming out i saw one at the show which just had like i think they were canon lenses poking out all about it there was just thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of just lenses alone on this rig it was ridiculous very impressive looking but ridiculous but for, for people like you and me people out there in the real world the, the consumer level type of guy the people who do use and love gopros out in the world whether you're doing extreme sports or just you know going down the beach with your kids or something that that section of the market hasn't been properly addressed as far as vr videography goes yet and that is where lucid vr comes in which is a product i came across at the show they actually sent me an email before i went to the show to make sure i could find them and look and find their product and check it out because they figured i would be interested and i was because what it is uh, basically I, I described it as a gopro for vr so it has you know two gopro style lens on it so you get proper stereoscopic virtual reality imagery and stuff it's not just you know the you got those apps around where you can get it you wave your phone around and it and it creates a, a two-dimensional field for your vr goggles to get this isn't that this is proper two lens stereoscopic uh video that, that has an app and you can but anyway i'll let the guy at the vivid vr booth actually tell you all about it because obviously he's a little more um educated on the matter than i am hey i'm joe hill from lucid vr we've created the lucid cam it's the easiest VR consumer camera out there, capturing 180 degrees in both directions. And with an easy click of a button, you can capture everything that's in front of you. So say if I was to click this button, everything from my hand to this other side, down to the ceiling, would be captured. And the calibration, the, the stitching is all done on board. Easy MP4s are easily offloaded, and you can upload to either our app or YouTube or Facebook. They're all integrated. And what's great about also LucidCam is actually the form factor. You can either put it um, on a chest mount, on a selfie stick, you can put it in your pocket, and you can carry it around. We also have a Lucid app, and you can download this on iOS or Android, also available on Oculus. So you say, hey mom, I just got this new apartment, captured it in LucidCam, uploaded it to our app, and within three seconds you're able to view this content in stereo 3D. And the cool thing about it is that this, this is 180, you can also scale up to 360. And so it's, it's up to you. Lucid is all about choices. You can have 3D, 2D, 360, 180, whatever you need. So we've seen this come out uh, on the consumer side. Also, we've seen a lot of businesses take advantage of this on, on immersive marketing, being able to sh uh, show somebody um, an experience over here or a product demo, as, uh, um, as you guys have you know, on YouTube, seen a lot of those. Um, we've seen, um, you know, travel, tourism really take a liking to it as well as edu educational technology. Um, so this has really come out as a consumer product, but a lot of applications are already in play. So uh, we're going to market this year, um, 2016, and so we have pre-orders open for $399. That's the cheapest 3D option you can have on the market today. So there's really no uh, comparing um, in terms of ease of access, the choice that's involved, and um, accessibility as the just very easy to use. Click of a button, and you have VR content. That's how we're going to get there in this VR revolution that we need. So yeah, there you go. It's, a, it's the GoPro for VR videography. I mean, they can't call it that because GoPro is a registered trademark and they really couldn't advertise like that. But I'm saying that because that's what it is. It's it's it, it does for virtual reality videography 
what the GoPro did. It, it's small and light and easy and simplistic. There's no complications about it. You just point it in a direction and shoot, and then you squirt it across to your mobile phone or your computer, and it's ready. It's there. It's done. And it's around about the same size and shape as your average cell phone. It's a little bit thicker. It's got the lenses on front, so you have to be careful about throwing it in a bag. I'm not sure whether they're going to sell it with a pouch or somewhere to protect those lenses when it's rattling around in your bag or something. I imagine they would. It would make sense to me. But yeah, something that's small and light and easy to carry around with you when you're going out to the beach or a concert or you know, a group of friends at the, uh, whatever you're doing, you know, that kind of stuff that, that normal people use their GoPros for as opposed to you know, jumping out of a plane and fl flying down the mountain, which you can also use this for as well. I'm not sure how rugged it is or if they're going to sell it with a ruggedized case like the GoPros come in and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, they've certainly demonstrated some other videos where there, there's a sky jumping one. If you download the app, you can have a look at that and, you know, all that kind of stuff. It, it's very exciting and uh, I'm looking forward to getting my hands on one. I did talk to the guy, gave him my card and everything and said, hey, when you're ready to shove one of these into my hand for a review I would be interested in it so you guys let me know how interested you are because that will dictate uh, how many times I pester them every couple of months <laughs> thanks for watching I am Blunty and I will catch you next time